Lord Bow, thanks for the eight months. Idol 13, Chromium 42. I have. Does this game have cute alien girls that abduct you? Come on, thanks for the four. Stop with 31. Let's go. <laughs> Unexplained phenomena occurred at Grayswood Farm on the 9th of August 7th. The Sherman family witnessed bright lights in the sky that moved at breakneck speed over the cornfield. The lights moved in a random direction and at different speeds. After a while, they vanished. The strange behavior in the sky was observed at the same time each night for five nights. According to the owner of the farm, all the animals went crazy. The dog became aggressive, tried to attack him and bite him. The children complained that someone was walking under their windows. Farmer Peter Sherman himself in the field saw a strange figure that did not look like a man. What is it? Deliberate deception? Drawing attention to oneself? Or a sensation about an alien invasion? Journalist Taylor Fox travels to Gracewood Farm to take a photo and make report for the local newspaper. Yeah, I'm gonna lower that. Volume? Yo, this looks good. Any motion blurs? Holy shit, I'm getting dizzy from it. Let me lower the volume a little bit. <laughs> my subwoofer almost sucked my cat in on that intro. <laughs> yeah, it's loud. This is great material for a news report. It's probably just like those Japanese like balloons. Sherman's house is here. Any aliens? Maybe? Mr. Fox, we made an appointment, but something bad happened. Our daughter went missing. My wife went to town for help. My son and I went to check out the farm. We'll leave notes for you and the police in case we pass each other. Be careful. Your friend, Peter Sherman. Not working. Hello, maybe you should put it on the phone. Old newspaper information about UFOs and crop circles. This these phenomena have been seen throughout the state for a long time. Yo, I want to watch that Mel Gibson movie now. Signs. I haven't seen that since I was a kid. Maybe I'll watch it after stream, actually. Might do that. If it's not too late. Favorite non horror movie, uh, Interstellar. It 
It looks like this drawing was made by the missing daughter of the farmer. The leaf is painted on both sides. Oh, shit. This is my daughter's room. During the night, I heard a strange noise. When I came in, she wasn't in her bed, and the window was wide open. I'm sure she was abducted by those things. Apparently, it belonged to the missing girl. If you listen closely, you can hear... Very strange sounds. Okay, this is creepy. Any aliens? Oh shit, look at this. Oh yeah, let me move my camera. I'll go bottom right. Photo from the internet. Perhaps Peter Sherman saw something similar. It looks creepy. Wait, why can I cheat? Photo from the internet, perhaps. Okay, yeah, same. Do you think this is what aliens look like, IRL? Like, why? Why is this the common picture for aliens in in our lifetime? Someone must have started it, you know. Unless it's actually true. Thicker. Found my old diary from when I was 15 years old. How could I forget that? Diary text. Today was the most exciting and scariest day of my life. I saw the aliens. My parents think I'm lying, but it's true. I was fishing from an abandoned pier on the river. Suddenly, I was deafened by a roar coming from behind. I turned around. Very low above the ground, a huge disc with four flashing lights or windows was hovering. I felt a punch that seemed to throw me into the air. I froze there as if in zero gravity everything around me uh became blindingly bright and i seemed to lose consciousness i remember seeing three aliens with gray skin and big eyes i was placed on a table as if i was welded to it they were standing over me it seemed to me that they communicated with each other telepathically then one of them came over and did something to my head i don't remember anything else i woke up on the pier later in the evening and barely made it home my head was buzzing and I walked home as if in any delirium. When I got there, I found several cuts in my body and two small, very smooth holes behind my ears. What was that? I'm scared to sleep. Yo, shit, Aquil, thanks for the five gifted, man. I have my alerts muted just for this demo. It's not long, so. Uh, I will play him right after this. Thank you, thank you.
close to my balcony, my neighbors are gonna complain. Start for blowing into the microphone. Can I just leave? Oh, all right. No, I got balls. As a child, headaches began to bother me. They torture me to this day. I went to the doctors dozens of times, but no one could explain the reason for their occurrence. And recently, strange unpleasant tingling sensations in the back of my head have started as well. Now I understand why the doctors could not determine the cause of the migraines. The answer is... <gasps> Sorry. Simple. Abduction. I only remember the alien abduction when I found my old diary. It was then that the migraines began. The cuts that I noticed then, behind the ear, were a trace of them. I'm sure they've implanted something in me. Some kind of transmitter or implant. Because of this, I forgot everything. I definitely decided that I would get it. I'm not crazy. Oh, a jar with a strange device. In the note, Peter Sherman claims that he cut out an alien implant from behind his ear. Doing research here. Any aliens? An alien! You know what game that is, chat? Damn right, you don't. Yeah, it's lifeline. Turn off the darn TV! Oh. Hit me for alien sound effect, DMCA. Tell me that's someone behind me. Oh shit. No! I don't want to turn, chat. Wait a minute. 
Wait, um, you see that? Oh, it's just a reflection. Or is it videotaping? Yo, this is actually mad creepy. Good job, devs. We're building the, um... Oh, please don't scare me. I thought aliens were small, man. Any alien? I guess we'll go back to the journalist truck. That's signs, misery. Why why is it always the darn cornfields, man? That ain't right. Will Ella falsetto howl before the demo is over? What the hell is falsetto howl? Drive? Good man, that was great. Hey, you. All of this just works.